I'm Natalia Lather with Pinwheel Farm, and uh, I've been working on the dream of the farm for most of my life. Uh, we're right on the edge of North Lawrence, out in the county, but the city limits is the street in front of the house. We have the challenge of kind of farming in a fishbowl, uh, not out in the country where we can kind of do whatever we want and get away with it. Uh, so. That fits in real well with my background before the farm in regulatory uh, policy analysis. I raise sheep and vegetables. In the past we've also done poultry, but for the past five and a half years I've been working full-time off the farm. We sell at Farmer's Market, uh, Downtown Lawrence Saturday Market. This summer since I left my job, I'm also selling at the Cotton's Thursday Afternoon Farmer's Market. We also sell a little bit to restaurants. I grew up in an academic family, which travels around almost as much as a military family. And finally, Dad got the tenure-track position at K-State, and we settled in Manhattan. In 1994, just after the 93 flood, we, I moved up to Lawrence here, bought the farmhouse uh, as a house on an acre. Then it was about a year later that we had the opportunity to buy the farm ground north of the farmhouse. Since then, we've added another acre to the west of us, so that we have actually a total of five individual parcels that make up the farm. There's such a concept out there that if someone has a small farm, it's a hobby farm. It's not really what they do. Uh, that's a stereotype that I've battled since the beginning when I went into the insurance office. And then at the very end of the conversation, we're going through the paperwork, filling in the blanks, and he gets to the part on the form that says occupation. Says, well, you don't have enough acres to be a farm, so we'll put you down as homemaker. And as you can imagine, that kind of raised my hackles a little bit because uh, anybody that's been to my house knows no homemaker lives here. Farming is my life. It is my first job, no matter you know, if I'm working full-time off the farm, I'm still working more than full-time on the farm. There's a, a, a very complex and interwoven set of goals for the farm, but the real foundation of it is the preservation of the land. Um, I see this as the breadbasket of Lawrence, and I want to preserve that from short-sighted, profit-oriented uh, development goals. But then educating the community, in general as well as individuals about the value of this farmland, about the value of local food production, about the hands-on how-to of local food production, I think is really important too. So teaching is a very important part of the mission of the farm. The most important message of the farm is think about the future, to think about future generations and what, how our actions today, how we live, how we eat, how we farm, how we manage land, how we preserve land as a community, how we support farmers as a community, um, all of that is so important to the quality of life that my children, my grandchildren, your children, um, our friends, everybody, that we're going to have right here in our beloved community.